Percussive Pythonistas and musical makers, it's Prof G with a quick lesson on better securing your audio plugs. Now in an earlier lesson, we learned how to clip it good so that you could easily connect any speaker with a standard audio plug to just two wires, one for audio out clip to the tip and the other for ground clip to the base. Now this is great for quick builds like our course lessons and exercises, but it's very easy for these alligator clips to get jostled off the plug and to lose the connection. Now one way to create a bit more secure connection that still allows you to use any speaker with a standard audio plug is to add an audio jack. Now here are two breadboard friendly audio jacks. Before choosing one, make sure that you know what type of speaker you're using because these jacks come in stereo and mono versions. And if you have a mono jack on a stereo speaker, it won't work. So how do you tell what kind of speaker you have? Look at the audio plug. If there are three sections separated by two bands like this one, then you've got a stereo speaker. And I think all of the single speakers my students are using are stereo speakers. That sounds a little weird because they're single speakers. You'd think they'd be monos, but nope, they're stereos. You can tell that because the plugs have three sections with two bands. If you have an audio plug with two sections and one band, it's a mono speaker. So how do we hook up one of these bad boys? Well, if you flip it over, you see a bunch of pins. Now this center one that's located closest to the hole in the jack is the ground pin. And the two pins at the outside of the jack are for audio channels. This one happens to be a stereo jack. So how do you plug it into a breadboard? Well, I like to try to align the jack so that the input hole for the jack faces out. Now make sure that none of the pins in the jack, that's probably the ground one that you've got to worry about, the one closest to the hole in this jack here, is not going to touch any of the rails. Now, if you've never used a breadboard before, if you hold your breadboard in this orientation, the two horizontal rows at the top and at the bottom are typically reserved one row for power, the other for ground. See how there's one both at the top and at the bottom? These are all horizontally connected and they're known as rails. Now that's as opposed to what you're seeing in the vertical column here where the board is in this orientation. These holes are all connected via terminal strips. There's a piece of metal below them. So it's as if these holes are connected electrically, sort of as if there were a wire connecting all the holes or if all of these holes were soldered together. Now the terminal strips are separated by this spacer in the middle. This is usually called the ravine and that distinctly separates the vertical connections from the top and the bottom. They're separated electrically. So with my jack plugged in this way, the middle pin here is my ground. Now these outer two pins are for the stereo channels. Now all of the audio examples in my course have mono sound files and they can play entirely through either stereo channel. So it actually doesn't matter which pin you use to set up your audio pin, both channels should be able to play the mono file in full. But if you thought you needed to combine both of these stereo channels, you could run a wire between them like I've done here. This is just a solid core wire that I've snipped off and stripped the ends and I can push that between these two pins. I've seen some folks suggest that you could also put a 1K resistor on the line connecting these audio pins, but again, my students shouldn't have to worry about this with the model files that they're using in CircuitPython with the boards that we're using. If you're having wonky results, consider connecting the two pins with a single wire, and you can also check with Adafruit Discord. So this means that once your jack is in your breadboard, and again, you want to push it in nice and tight to make sure that the pins actually touch the connections and the holes, plug your ground wire into the circle that's vertically lined up with the center hole. That should be where the jack's ground pin is. And since all these holes are connected vertically, the ground up here should be connected to the wire down here. And then you should be able to select any of the outermost holes that are lined up vertically because either the outermost pin should carry the stereo signal to your speaker. I've used this one here and that's it. Now, how do you finish things off on the other end? Well, if you're working with a circuit playground, either the Express or the Blue Fruit, one of the best things to use are pin gator clip wires like I've got here. And the ground wire should clip to any of the GND or ground pads in the circuit playground. The audio will clip to the audio pad. It might be labeled A0 if you've got a circuit playground. Express. If you don't have pin gator, you can use pin pin and gator gator like I'm showing you here. Although this isn't all that stable, pin gator is a much better choice if you've got it. You could also tape together these connections if you need to. And if you're using a microcontroller that's mounted to the breadboard like this Raspberry Pi Pico W here, just plug your ground wire into the pin that you're using for ground and the audio wire into whatever GP pin you're using for audio out. Then you can play. Watch this. You see the audio works. Watch this on either board, magnificent. So makers, I hope that this helps you create a more stable connection for your projects. Get out there and make something awesome.